about the show we have for you this evening, right? <laughs> Many of the jokes of tonight's show will not be that good. But there's a joke coming up at the end of the monologue. Oh, my God. Horseman television. Oh, the keys are now off. I don't want to dance anymore. <laughs> it's off, right? I see. I don't know. Sometimes I hear music and there's nobody there. Is that a song? I hear music and there's no one there. That happens to me, but I did a lot of acid. So much acid that I hallucinated a horse and it came true. Fox. And then I hear music and there's no one there. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> we'll be right back. Yeah. 
It's like, it's like, you know, you, it's like, it is true. I, I use, I, like, I'm trying to make you feel like, you know, oh, this is just you. It's a home. It's home. It's home. Well, no, it's not. It's not. But. Uh, you, get a, you get a homey feel from, from like, hey, welcome back. It's like, a, it's like a welcome hat that says welcome back. Do, do you have a welcome back? You don't usually say welcome. They usually don't say welcome no, back. No, they just say but welcome. This, but this would be a nice one that said welcome back. Yeah, but how would you know? It might be someone who's never been there before. And like, oh, you just say that to everyone. Yeah, but wouldn't you feel better if it was your first time someplace and it said welcome back and you went? Yeah, maybe I have been here before. <laughs> so, what you're telling me is that you're a Hindu and you believe in reincarnation. <laughs> that, went for, that went far in the religious direction. And I'm not prepared to go down that road. So, are you saying to me you don't like Hindus? Because they'll be upset. <laughs> no, I'm just saying... <laughs> I gotta set you up there a little bit. I'm, I'm, not, I'm not knowledgeable in that direction. If I'm right. willing to go down that road, I, I, I feel like I, I can maybe say some things that would get both of us in trouble. Yeah, well, then don't say that. Because I already, I think I caused a little trouble uh, already tonight. I mentioned uh, a vagina at the wrong moment. And I do that all the time. Do you? Well, I say it often on the show and they get, they get upset with me and they say, can you pronounce it correctly? Because I say, vagina. <laughs> You, you only say it like that if you're being sarcastic to it. <laughs> That's what I tell the producers on the show. <laughs> How are things anyway at, at home? How are, how's your life? How are the kids? The kids are, you know, we finally reached the place where my daughter's three, and oh. I finally reached the place where we can get into the uh, Dr. Seuss reading material. It went from, because, you know, Dr. Seuss books are longer than you might think, or have, or... Oh, no, I've got, I've got kids. I, I, I've read the Dr. Seuss. I, look, I get stored. I've read them anyway. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so, you know, I'll start off with, uh, you, you know, you start off with these smaller baby books, and then at some point you go, enough with... Uh, right, your little bee doesn't like candy. Oh. I get it. Yeah. I, I, your, your ears are under the earmuffs. Uh, uh, okay. So now... We're, uh, there's like these little flaps that you pull off and then you go, oh, what's under the earmuffs? And it's your ears. Your earmuffs, I get it. She knows what's that, one? what's that one called? The earmuff book. I think it's, uh, yeah. you, where's the baby's belly button or something? Because eventually you got to find the baby's belly button. All right, okay. Oh, oh is it, is it under the earmuffs? Yeah. No. Oh, yeah. Right, I get it. Yeah, I feel like that. Yeah. The whole thing. So you get sick of that book. And, mm, and, oh, yeah. And, uh... But now we're at the Dr. Seuss, and I am playing a game with myself. Well, a, you know, you, you get very excited to, that you can read these books. But uh, let me tell you something. Real, some real tongue twisters in, in Dr. Seuss. Green eggs and ham? Yeah. All those. Uh, uh, red fish, blue fish, one fish, two fish. Yeah. These are difficult books to read. <laughs> like, listen, you're like that, Sarge. You wait till you get to Dostoyevsky. You're the cranky. Fuck you. I, I'm telling you. I don't even want, I look, I'm, I'm terrified for Harry Potter. Oh, no, you must be. Harry Potter's great. I, Harry Potter, d d did you get into Harry Potter before your kids, be honest? No. Really? Oh, then it's great. You've got all this to... That's right. Yeah, it's fantastic. And then we'll read the books, and then I feel like, as a reward, after finishing the books, we'll watch the movies. Yeah, that's how it starts. Then you just watch the movie. Yeah. <laughs> 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 but you get into these Dr. Seuss books, and uh, you know, if if you're really I'm, letting, you're you're staying on the Dr. Seuss. Thing. I'm telling you, because like you like you really want to sell this thing. Well, I, I, I you better say cat at the end of this. That, by the way, that was, that was. I was waiting for that one to come back around, and I go, wait, what is he gonna say? What is he gonna say? And man. <laughs> Cat was a real, that was a real home run. Well, it was funny, right? It's funny, yeah. I thought it was funny. It was as good, it was as good as it gets. You're mocking me. You're mocking I'm, me. I'm not. 100. Yeah. I'm not. All right. I, believe me. Uh, I, I, I make jokes. Me. I make jokes. <laughs> I'm upset like that all the time. And, and I'll be like, cat. And I'll go, no. <laughs> Listen, I, think, I don't think you should work with these people. Uh oh. Fucking. Yeah. <laughs> so you should stick. You should, you should, you should pronounce the gender. Like vagina. What? Yeah, and and then you should not say cat at the end of these things. I, I'm with Craig. Believe me, I'm with you. <laughs> we'll be right back after these.
to make the break. I, we're sitting here, I was talking to Max, and Michael came over from the desk and he went, your button, and then went, moved away. And, I, and we thought it was uh, your button. Well, for, apparently my button was undone. <laughs> I looked at my shirt. Yeah, and then I thought, oh, those are good. And then I went, oh, oh goodness gracious. <laughs> was, a, was, was another button undone for the whole first segment. Yeah, well, well Oof. bullet dodged. <laughs> Implying you've got a big penis or something? Wait a minute. I shouldn't say it like that. I should say, penis. Is that how you say it? I think it's a penis. Penis. Uh, don't, don't, don't say it anymore. We're no, not, I mean, no, no, yeah, no. I just, I like you too much when you say it. No, you know what? Uh, here's the thing. I was in Scotland. I was back home for a while, and I think I put on a little weight. That's right. right. Yeah, I put on about 10 pounds, I think. Where are you eating? Where was I eating? What were you eating? Oh, yeah, real fried stuff. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Fried, fried uh, meat and then uh, fried uh, candy. What kind of fried candy? What kind of fried candy you got, Sailor? Ali, Andy, I, I, they, no, you can, I don't eat these much, but you can, uh, you can get fried Mars bar if you want. Ooh. Yeah. I've heard about fried Twinkies. I saw that on a television show. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> what television show are we talking about here? You know, if you... If, <laughs> you said television show like that was such an unusual thing. Like, well, I saw that on a, on a television show. Ooh, somebody's got a TV. <laughs> it's not the 1920s, man. Everybody's seen a television I saw that on a television show. Okay, we've all seen television. What the hell? <laughs> But can you imagine seeing a fried Twinkie on a, on a television show? It would be, and then it would be like, oh my god, look at this television show. And I'm seeing the fried Twinkie on it. You get excited, you're on the Food Network, and you're going like, oh, wow. Ah, I see, you were on the Food Network. Yeah, and what they do is on these Food Network shows, they'll do like segments. And the first segment's like, oh, let's fry, let's, let's fry some potatoes. Oh, wow, let's, let's, fry, let's fry, fry. And then as it goes on, by the third segment, let's stick a Twinkie in there. Yeah! And that's when things get bad. That's right. It's when you buy one of them waffle things, and you start with bread. And then you think, ah, let's get an egg. And then you get an egg in there. And then you're like, oh, let's get one of the kids. Yeah! Wow! No. It's a joke, it's a joke, it's a joke. Gosh, I would never do that. Do you ever fun with it? I should have said cat. Uh, you want to get people mad, uh, do a late night show and suggest that you would put your cat in a waffle iron. <laughs> Easy. And then keep on bringing it up. Yeah, yeah, and then uh, you mustn't ever do that. I did it once, but I don't think anyone knows. <laughs> <laughs> just stick on it like the doctor yeah. said. Just be like, no, but there was this time. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> we put the Dr. Seuss, don't you tell us about that. <laughs> Can't add time. Run 
guilty look sensational. I love your sequined outfit. Hello, darling. Hello, love. I don't give a oh, shit. Oh, Is all right. Mm. I think I was showing a bit of uh, stomach cleavage to the audience. Well, a, a bit of, a, a whole bunch of. Oh really? I, I put on a bit of weight when I was away. It's I think. Kind of cute. Oh really? Uh -huh. Is it cute? Non-threatening cute? Is that what you're thinking? You got a lot of hair there. I got a little bit of hair, yeah. <laughs> Not a lot. No, no. no, no just, and that's the only place it grows, weirdly enough. Is that why it doesn't grow down? Doesn't grow down. Doesn't grow up. Just grows straight out. Are you white? <laughs> Just very busy. My, was she? Well, if it goes up and down, you know, it just depends. <laughs> hey, your new book, Unsinkable, in stores now. He's nervous. He's nervous. I'm not nervous. I love that. I love that. Is that from the Unsinkable Molly Brown in the back? That's from the. Uh, that's from the movie. I just like that picture. It's a lovely picture. Walking on water. <laughs> Do you have, uh, those, uh, there's lots of pictures in here. Well, there's you with the girls. Look, that's yeah, lovely. That's yeah, that's Carrie and my granddaughter, Billy. I know. Yeah. I, I, uh, I have Carrie on the show from time to time. And, and sometimes not on the show. No, I mean, uh... Well, that's what I was, I was just trying to figure that one out. No. No, no, she's told me, but it's all right. Uh, you're married now. <laughs> they had a good time. <laughs> it was before you lost your button. <laughs> I think she might have taken my button, actually. Uh. I think <laughs> you did right. a little snort yeah, laugh there. Yeah, I got you. Yeah. you. You did a hip. Yeah. Yeah. This is... No, I... Oh, you it's all the girls. You wrote it with Dorian Hathaway, too. Lovely Dorian, who used yeah. to work here at CBS. Yes, she did. When CBS stood for a classy, big show. Well, uh, she loves you. She's a great writer. She's a lovely and woman. So I asked her when I was going to try to write this book, because I finished my... I wrote another book in the first book. Yeah, I thought the, you, you wrote a book, you got a memoir, and this is another memoir. No, but I've lived so long. I've uh. lived, I just surprised myself. I just turned 81. I don't know what. No, I'm you did not. That wasn't being 81. You were good being 81. Very tiring. You don't look 81 if that's... Uh, no, no, isn't that nice of you to no, say that? No, well, it's that. true, though. You absolutely know it. Oh, I, I, I think that... Uh, so what's in here, then? I have fun writing. Well, the thing was that... No, no, it's not dirtier. Well, it tells a few things, but not too many things. All right. Just enough to keep you going. And again, enough to keep you titillated. <laughs> <laughs> or, or if you have a... Okay. <laughs> elated. Oh, so... Um, this was, my first book ended that I was happily married and my husband was adorable, you know, and I was very happy and all that stuff, which was just a pile of shit, actually. <laughs> Didn't work I out. will not have cussing on this show, Debbie Reynolds. Sorry. That's all right. just got, it just got loose, so it just went... <laughs> and that's why I love you. <laughs> Because uh, listen, uh, I think of it, there's a title, uh, uh, a chapter title here called Fear and Loathing in Las Vegas, Chapter 6. And you talk about Las Vegas as your hometown. You kind of like think of it as your hometown. I love it. Well, I've lived there. I've had a home there for like uh, 60 years, something like that. Wow. Well, I love Vegas. I just think it's... Did you know Liberace then? Did you actually know Liberace? I knew Liberace. I loved him. He was so, you know, Liberace. First of all, the way he talked, and yes, I love this a certain way. <laughs> that too. I think if I was, it's a, if I try to do it, I sound like Gilbert Gottfried as a cat. Yes, you do. No. It's like, <laughs> it's like I'm a cat. But you look like him. Boy, do I? Oh, no. That's the main thing. Yeah. <laughs> Vegas is so much fun. I, that's why I like to live there. Didn't you used to have your own casino? I remember when the first time I went to Vegas, your casino was there. I had a little hotel, yeah. 197 rooms, my own showroom, and a little museum with all my memorabilia in there. Yeah, I love Vegas because it's uh, fun, free. No, no, so people have a good time there. They, when they go there expecting to have a good time, and they do. And especially if you're there because you're really funny. Oh, well, thanks very much, but I, uh... Yeah, I like you. Yeah, but I... But, 
vaudevillian, I know you, because I love I am you. a vaudevillian. Yeah, you're a vaudevillian. I love that. See, I closed vaudeville. The last year vaudeville was, Debbie played. I played the vaudeville. I worked all the circuits. You did the whole circuit? Yeah. Oh, uh -huh. The one that, that Stan Laurel did and, and yeah, well, Chaplin. And <laughs> yeah. Nobody did back yeah. in the day. Vaudeville went on for years, yeah. didn't it? Yes, and I, I was 17, and I played the last year of vaudeville. I loved it. Did you do the dancing and saying three a day? There were five shows a day, and we had a full orchestra, and then they ran the movie. They ran the movie, oh. and then the orchestra, and then, and then a show. Oh, and see, that's fantastic. But if you put that on now, people would just complain and write tweets about it. You yeah, think yeah. yeah, no one wants to go yeah, out. Yeah, vaudeville is so much better. Phil Silvers was a, a, on the show with me, and he was a star, and I was just this little girl starting. My review said, a uh, little girl on a big stage, which meant I was lousy. Oh. <laughs> but I tried. And Phil Silvers was a uh, whatever, you know, when they t he's uh, scared, you know, frightened about he's going to fall in the pit. And so he would tie himself around the piano leg, you know, with a rope, and then he'd go out on the stage. Because otherwise he'd jump in, you know, what's that called? You uh, know, when you... When stage you, diving. Stage diving. <laughs> it's called drinking, I think. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. It was not better that. I would have loved to see you do that. I would have loved that. I mean, I think your performance in Singing in the Rain is one of the damn best ever in American cinema history. I mean, really, it is. It is, it is incandescently wonderful. It is a spectacular performance. And to see you as a young woman doing that live must have been amazing. Well, it was wonderful to do. It was hard to do, really hard, because the Donald O'Connor is so great, you know, running up yeah, the wall absolutely. and stuff. But I just learned everything I was supposed to, because Gene Kelly was so great, Donald O'Connor was so great. And they take the time to teach me, because I was just this dumb little girl. And I'd never danced before. You know, that was the first time. Shows you what a corny thing I must have been born. I don't think you were dumb at any point in your life, really. I think that, I, I don't, I think maybe a little naive, a perhaps, but, but, but the, but the genuine energy and, and the, the, the innate talent that you clearly had, and of course, you know, Donald Goddard and Gene Kelly, uh, great professionals, would not have said, well, let's just get this girl, she'll do, you know. <laughs> Everybody was great to me. I was very lucky, I know, to have ever been in that movie, and every, everyone will say so, because it was a great picture. Yeah, it's a great picture. It's yeah. a really classic picture. They don't, I've been lucky. They don't really, do they make pictures like that anymore? Do you see pictures now that you think are great musical? Well, Leave Us a that was hilarious, I guess, but uh, <laughs> I mean... Not so. Uh, I think a, a, great, a lot of great pictures, but they are not as uh, varied, you know, as before. We had films for everyone, you know, for the family, for the Western pictures. Uh, more today is a lot of violence, which I think is too much violence, or a lot of sex where they <laughs> is sort of, you know. <laughs> What's that? I mean, I, I've had a lot of sex, but I've never had the uh-huh. <laughs> <laughs> you know what? Now as I think about it, I think I've probably had the uh-huh. Yeah. I think you probably just don't remember. <laughs> Congratulations on the